And that's how you get through the chords for this. Now the other part of the song is there's a couple really tasty licks that happen in the chorus. Let's break these down. The first one, uh, lick number one, is going to be, a, we're going to take this really slow, it's going to be a descending lick down the C major scale. And it's going to come in on beat three of the measure. So it starts on first fret of the second string with your first finger. Again, what fingers we use are going to be pretty important here because that's going to allow you to play through it um, in a speedy manner. So first fret of the second string, followed by second string open, second fret of the third string, followed by third string open, third fret of the fourth string, followed by second fret of the same string, then the fourth string open, lastly, third fret of the fifth string. Um, when I put that all together, it becomes... And when you count that, that's going to come in on beat three of the measure. Um, so it'll just be, it'll be eight sixteenth notes. Three, E, and, uh, four, E, and, uh. And one little tip, you don't have to do this, but I find it helps as I'm alternate picking there, if you're comfortable with that. I'm going to slow that down. That's just going to make it easier to play fast, and also that's going to allow you to keep the strum going throughout the song. You're not going to have to break your rhythm. Let's try playing along with that a couple times. Um, I'm going to count this in. We're going to do it super slow. I know this is a little tricky. One, E, and uh, two, and uh, three, E. That's lick number one. Let's take a look now at lick number two. Um, same concept rhythmically. Uh, it's a grouping of 16th notes that comes in on beats three and four. Only this now is going to occur in the bass register of the guitar. So the first two notes are going to be on third fret of the sixth string. And then we're going to play fifth fret. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to play the fifth string open. Followed by third fret of the fifth string. You're going to do that note two more times. You're going to go back to fifth string open and then play third fret of the sixth string. When I put that all together, it becomes. Again, the count for that is going to be. picking there. It's optional, but I think if you're used to it, it's definitely going to help with this. Let's try this play along again really slow. I'm going to count us in and we'll come in on beats three and four. One E and uh, two E and uh, Let's do that again. I'm going to slow it down even a little bit more. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. So that's lick number two. Now let's take a look at how to incorporate that into the line of the chorus um, in which both these licks occur. They're going to come in on beat three um, of the respective measures. Lick number one comes in on beat three of the second measure and uh, the second lick comes in on beat three of the fourth measure. All right, now let's try taking those licks. Um, we're going to play along and we're going to add them into the chorus. Three E and uh, four E and...
that one more time. So here we go, same spot. Three, E, and uh, four, E, and... Uh, That's how you mix those licks in to that line of the chorus. And when you put it all together, you have a song that combines a great rhythm, some cool chords, and a couple sweet licks.